really so want to avoid that. So still left in the tournament, we have uh, Tokido here in losers semis. I'm assuming, yes, losers semis. And the winner of this, Daigo, Umehara, and Haitani. With his prop can of drink there. This being the losers quarterfinal, I believe. Last time I saw these guys play, it was a really convincing win for Hatani. Completely different here. Daigo, of course, the people's champ. Let's see what you guys on the stream are saying. Enough of the Luffy slaying. Let's move on and say who's going to win this set. Give me a one for Daigo. Give me a two for Hatani. Inside, I am rooting all the way for Daigo. You know how much we love that guy. Tiny all the way, and I'm seeing a lot of RIP Daigos. Some of you guys agree with me, some of you not. Good mix of ones. Ones are starting to dominate now. Ones are starting to go. The belief is real. People are starting to believe. Daigo always has an enormous beast. swell of support. Oh, absolutely. Well, we, all, we all have followed the guy for so long. So important to the community to have him doing well again. And I think he edged it. So the fans are rooting for Daigo. I'm rooting for him too. I don't mind mind. I finally opening up with those ground pounds, which. He's used so effectively all weekend. Itani will be taking it, we'll see. Daigo, of course, with that great fireball game. <coughs> That's his up, activates really early on, and he's using this pressure. Daigo just with a delayed jump back tech again, and he goes back to the fireball game. At that range that he feels comfortable pumping them out, a whole heap of plasma on the screen. Varying the speeds up as well. I've just seen Daigo go really back and forth with um, Venom's get party. Now taking on Hatani's lovely little trap. Very similar approach. Spend the free reversal as soon as you get some opportunity to do so. Oh, oh, too quick. And that very last hit taking the round. Nice stuff there from Hatani. Well worth the bar. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Close the round out with it. Chances of Daigo neutral jumping there. Highly unlikely. Brilliant play for Maitani. He goes one round up. Oh, nice. Oh, Drops it. Nothing that links anyway. I'm not sure why he went for that. Double dash in. Plasma connecting. So the Plex is stuffed by the ground pound. Oh, I love oh, the way he walks up the weights. Gets thrown back in the corner. Oh, bad fireball. And that is 1 0. Just the wrong choice there from Daigo. Mm. He's got Hatani down, decided to throw a fireball straight away. Oh, Hatani just woke up with a forward jump. He's <laughs> actually punished the fireball after receiving a throw. Great play from him. Could go similarly to the way it went last time I saw them play. They may have met since then, though. Love that streak. Strong DP anti air. He's going for that meaty pressure in the corner. Nice pressure strings. He's bearing it up. Too really far good away control to get her. the punish. Oh, nice he gets up and up That just sends him away to the corner. That was half screen. Oh! The speed of this character. Where is he, Logan? No stun, though. He would have been hoping for that. Oh, oh my man, god. The back dash, forward dash in V trigger mode is electrifying. How quick is that? Even the one and only Daigo unable to respond to it. Jumping at an awkward angle to DP. No cross cut from Daigo. Just blocks it. Oh, he can't punish the ground pound from there. It's too high in the sky. Gets a little hit and opens up with a super. Wow, the range and another jump. Oh, that tiny goes for the wrong end though. V-trigger mode again. 
Cross Fierce connects. Counter hit Cross Jab connects. Look up throw lands for Daigo for the second time in this set. Oh, trying to get in with his foot over forward dash back dash. My tiny chin is a jab. Significant life lead. Chip. Yeah. Very clever. Yep. In V trigger mode, no re no V reversal available. What a wise they move there from Hitani. He moves into yet another convincing 2-0 lead here against Daigo. What can Daigo do to halt this momentum? <sighs> I mean, Round one. I would like to see him Fight. occupy more space, not to be you know, cliched, but it's difficult to do because Hitani's keeping that hard kick out of there, which will crush counter you if you're just leaving, just leaving your medium punch or your standing light kick out of there at the wrong time. And this is just an absolute mauling here from High Tiny. It looks like the dream is dead. Oh man, this is. Oh wow. Someone send some condolence cards to Juna because it looks like Daigo is going out of the round tournament two. here in a convincing fashion. He just walked into that crouch medium at the end of that round, almost as if to say, just kill me now. High Tiny like smells a wild it. Animal showing you their neck. He really wants to end this here, High Tiny. I can see him going in. Daigo's already made a big comeback once this tournament against Ryan Hart. See if he can do it again. No. Oh, oh. oh and that's going to close it out, surely. He's yes. Daigo Umihara is eliminated from the tournament. 3 0 by Haitani. And what a performance there. Everything went right for Haitani. Oh, the movement was impeccable. The choice of buttons was perfect. The reactions, everything worked I'm for him I'm curious there. to know how it goes between those guys generally, just because the last two times I've actually watched it, it's been very much like that. And, you know, it's, it's no, I don't think it's any reflection on the matchup or anything like that, but... Play a matchup again. Yeah, Haitani just seems to have Daigo's number in this game right now, and that, look, that just looks horrible. Just it's really, really very one-sided. And you don't want to see the, the people's champ go out like that. The tears... Streaming. Oh, uh, Bible thumps all chat. over the place in stream chat right So now. sorry, guys. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. That is the end of the journey for Daigo Umehara. The Beast will not be conquering DreamHack this year. He's placed very well, but he is now eliminated at the hands of the one and only Haitani. Probably the strongest Nikali in the world at the Without moment. Without a doubt, the strongest Nikali in the world. But actually, there's one Nikali that has a claim to that today. And he's in winner's finals right now facing against Fudo. That is Fenom. Uh, the number one ranked player in Europe. He is um, in tremendous form today. Mm. And, you know, it's great to see a guy kick butt in casuals uh, and then not and let that get to his head and mess up in the real game. 